Hey guys, welcome back to Mark of the Ninja. And today we are continuing our quest to kill Karajan. Jump right in. Okay, since the last episode, the only thing I've picked up is the smoke bomb upgrade, which adds a kind of a toxic powder into the mix. It disables enemies. Very useful. Especially since there's elite enemies crawling around now. Other than that, no real changes here. For this level, we'll be taking the standard style. The smoke bomb. And the spike mine. And we're off. Karajan has barricaded himself in his tower. And from what I overheard, two separate guards have the keys to get in. We need to find both of them. Alright. So you just heard the main... What is going on out there? The main thing with this level is we have to acquire two keys. And that is not difficult. There he is. He's got the first key. Take him out quietly and grab the key. Or I suppose you could just lift it from his pocket. Okay, barely dodged the lightning there. It's important to come out here and get this first as it disables all the lasers in there. Which will quickly result in your death. If I can actually get in the vent. Alright, before we do this, let's take a look at the objectives for the level. 19,000 score, no problem. Kill Karajan without being detected. Not that difficult. Pickpocket both keys. That requires a little bit of setup, not too much though. And get smelled by all the dogs. Also really easy, just a little awkward. And, of course, find the three scrolls. So let's start by getting one of these keys. Now this guy likes to look behind him like that. Now, you know, I can't just leave live guards around. So the next time he peeks over his shoulder, I'm going to kill them all. That wasn't even the guy I wanted to kill, but I'll take it. You guys are the best bodyguards. Alright, but since we moved that crate earlier, and all the lasers are off, we can get in here. And get ourselves scroll number one. Interesting thing about this level is you get all the scrolls really quickly. Like, crazy fast. So you can see in this vent is the challenge room. That close to the first scroll. Now this is one of the most confusing challenge rooms so far. It can be pretty rough if you don't know what you're doing. Basically, you want to stop that, I'm not even sure what it is, kind of movable machine thing. Basically in the middle of that area. And you want to stop this one so that it's blocking the laser there. Barely, but it works. And this lets you get to the button. which switches the direction of the lasers coming from the sides. So now we have to crawl back to the lever over here. Now we need this machine to be blocking this laser. 
as this allows us to access the levers on the other side of the room. Most notably this one, which opens the door to the scroll. Now you need to move this one over, blocking blocking the laser over on this side finally. Hey. I have bad timing with this. There we go. And as for this one, you need to bring it over blocking the vertical laser here. That will allow you to get down to the switch, which somehow magically moved down here. Reverse the direction of the horizontal lasers again. Hop up, go underneath, and drop down to the scroll. Two scrolls down. And here is the first place to use our required key. And the first dog is over there. We need to hide here briefly so that it can smell us. Thankfully the elite guard patrolled away fast enough for me to get by before the dog started freaking out. And now we work our way up the building. Whoa, that was too close. Oh, I messed that up. That's going to suck. I'm gonna have to hide for a second. I don't know what it is with me and arrows. I'm just having issues. These guys are freaking out. Are they not going to go back to normal? Kind of need them to do that. Huh. Hey, that could be him. Hey, you know what? I'll take it. That made no logical sense, but I'll do it. let myself be spotted on purpose there because I wanted him to come over here. Now I'm going to break this light in order to wake up the second dog so that he can wander over here and smell us. And hopefully not freak out at the body. And there we go. Also bad dog. Normally I'd throw this guy over too, but since I had to toss the two guys below, I kind of need him. Much like the previous challenge room in the last level, we need the body to deactivate lasers. Is he dead? not going to play any games with the elite card. I don't have time for him. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Can't go over here yet. 
How on earth did I forget? Stay. I can go through here now. I can't believe I actually forgot this. That would have been uh, terrible. But if you continue climbing up from here, stay on the ledge, ninja. There's the third scroll. So, just like that, we have all three scrolls. We don't even have the second key yet. That was almost disastrous. Hopefully the lightning will flash here. Now I'm gonna get an easy kill. <laughs> Taunt this guy into coming over. And no more of him. Sign of target over here. There's an elite guard there we actually do need to take out. That is why I love the upgraded smoke bomb. It makes dealing with them so easy. And now... There's the second key guy. Knocking out the lights. Go check that out. Huh, not serious. Where's that from? Uh, you probably can lure them under that somehow. Broke this. But I don't think it's worth the effort. Just let them all reset. Hopefully they won't spaz out like the last set of cards. There's the guard with the other key. I almost feel bad for him. Almost. And I gotta kill guards for points. I just can't let them live. I don't have it in me. But now we have both keys. And there is the third dog. This one is actually really easy. Just let him patrol over there a bit. And there we go. We need to pull this crate out. It's actually an artifact hidden underneath the crate. Handy little score boost. Restock all our inventory. And we will be climbing onto the roof. All right to sprint up here as there's no guards. There is one entrance right there that will take you inside the inside the castle. But if you come down here, another artifact. Also, if you continue going this way, trying to be cautious. We can take this guard out. And we found the super convenient back entrance.
Look, there's Karajan, hiding like a coward while his guards do the fighting. I say super convenient because it bypasses most of the security and takes us right to where we need to go anyway. Need to turn this in order to access this lever. Which takes us to our favorite moving crate puzzle. Which despite looks, this is actually very simple. Use one of our keys here. If you're wondering what we're doing, we are disabling the defenses. As there are countless lasers and turrets and all kinds of silliness in here. If we shut off that generator, we'll bring down the lasers, and then nothing will stand between us and Kaj. Yeah, basically what she said. That's what we're doing. To open the second door, we must climb up here. Good chance I'm going to die attempting this, as that tends to happen. And this requires a bit of timing. Which we know I am so great at. And I actually did it. I'm going to turn the lasers off and key number two. We now have access to the generator. Okay, now what they want you to do in this room is to wait till the lasers are pointed over this kind of ledge above you and grapple to the platform there and then drop through the vent. But that's kind of annoying and requires a lot of precision. You know what doesn't require a lot of precision? A smoke bomb. because that is so much simpler than doing it their way. Well, I managed to die anyway. Good job, me. It's not one of my videos without one failure. Let's actually wait for the lasers this time. Since destroying that actually disabled them. I need more men in here now. now we have a lot of guards to deal with. Not as annoying as it sounds. Just toss a spike trap. Hey. And of course he would open the door as soon as that happened. Let's attempt this again. Wait, now he doesn't open the door? Seriously? There. All right, well, there's guards down. There's an elite down. 
There's a sniper there we need to take out. It's easy enough since he never actually looks at us. Failed the kill, but whatever. It doesn't, shouldn't matter at this point. As here is Karajan. Is he gone? Hello, sir. Good day. Wait, what is this junk from Hessian doing here? I'd understand if his eye brought back some treasure, but what is this armor? Why did he bring back guns? We weren't just sent to kill Karajan. We were sent to steal from him. Did his eye make you accept the mark for this? Have you thought about not killing yourself? Yes, I know. You'd bring shame on yourself and your clan, but is that worse than a wrongful grave? My suspicions were right. Azai has lied to us. I have gone to the greenhouse near Tabriz to set things straight. Go with honor. But watch yourself, Dasan. Please, you must spare yourself. At least until we know what's really going on. Though after all this... We've been betrayed. You have saved us all. You defeated our enemies. And now we have their weapons and their technology. Zai didn't save us from Hessian. He'll warp everything we stand for. The time has come. <laughs> Stop him! He must not get away! And there we go. Nine of nine once again. As always, not pretty. But it is done. And I'll see you guys next time.